Do you ever wonder what happens when the police leave? Crime Scene Cleaners are private companies that handle the cleanup after the police are gone. Spalding Decon is one of the nation's largest cleanup companies handling the aftermath of homicides, suicides, decompositions, hoarding, and much more. These are our stories. We're here in Land Lakes, Florida, um, an unattended death. The wife was on vacation, came home, and unfortunately had found her husband passed away. He was gone about a week. Um, they were overseas, so if you follow me, you can see here that this is the affected area. Unknown cause of death. They're just not sure what had happened. I'll take you around to the other side so you guys can see. Inside of the closet. So, he has actually So the closet. The carpet is gonna have to come out. We're gonna have to take the belongings out of that dresser. The closet door is gonna have to go. This closet door is gonna have to go. So I'm gonna say we're gonna we're gonna cut the tile from here, from this line here. Do it from here. Let me go to the other side. should be cleanable over here. This closet door has to go. Yeah. Our containment zone, we actually had to take up some tile here. Uh, that way we had more of a clean spot to work with right as we walk in. So the, the blood had actually gone directly up to the baseboard here which is why this has been removed. You can actually follow along as he started the process after death. Um, it's, it's actually really tragic. A family friend had come in after not hearing from him for a week and had found him. So that's what we're here to do. We're here to help in the worst of times. Um, stay tuned for the during and, uh, and the after. Hope you guys enjoy. Hey YouTubers, we are in Wortham, Texas today, out in the middle of nowhere, um, getting ready to demo our first mobile home. And I am so excited because I do not want to go back in there. Uh, here's the backstory. About two weeks ago, we started to clear out this thing because it was hoarded and had been hoarded for about 10 to 15 years. Um, it's full of funnel spiders, trash, uh, had cats in there using uh, the mobile home as a toilet. Uh, rats have been in there. The furniture is destroyed. If it could be chewed on, it has been chewed on. Um, it's hoarded to your chest in certain spots and hoarded to your knee in others, but there is no carpet or floor to see. It is bad and it smells in there and there's no electricity and it's just miserable. Um, so we started to clear it out two weeks ago because the family wants to demo it um, because they want to sell the land and nobody will buy the uh, land with the uh, rickety old mobile home on it. The back back story of that is um, the lady who owns the property let her son live in this mobile home for that duration that he was hoarding it and uh, finally hurt himself and couldn't live in the house anymore. Um, and 
that's when they discovered that the house looked like that and so now uh, they're under the impression that it has to be empty before we can demo it and I'm not really sure so we started to uh, empty it out but then found a company who would demo it now uh, even though it's still half full of furniture and trash so um, let's go inside and take a look hey guys where the hell am I where the hell am I I am inside that mobile home uh, in Wortham that we started to clear out a couple weeks ago. It is getting knocked down today, but it still has some debris in it. So we thought we'd give you a peek at the inside and then um, start demolition. Once this thing is recording, I don't know how to flip it around because I'm not real tech savvy. I'm so sorry. So let me see if I can show you what's left in here. Oh boy. This was the mobile home that had been hoarded for 18 years and not taken care of obviously so that is the master bedroom there's no electricity in this thing here's the bathroom lovely yeah that's a uh, that's cat poop in there and the washer and dryer we have left so let your animals poo and piss on top of the refrigerator uh, that moisture gets on the cabinets and makes the wood separate. Yeah, that's cat piss damaging that thing. So, what else we got here? Uh, kitchen. That's kitchen. Yes, cat turds all over the kitchen. You're probably saying, yeah, demo that thing. Oh, we are. We are. We found a guy who would demo it even though it still had stuff inside. And yeah, we'll have to separate out the appliances that are left. Uh, you can see that when you don't take care of your house, you get uh, the floor separating from the wall. So it may not matter that this thing has been abandoned since April of 2018. Um, the whole thing smells like cat piss. It smells horrible in here. Um, here's the other bedroom. I might get you a lighter. And has has our homeowner exited? Has yes, our homeowner ex this is Bob. Say hey, Bob. This is Bob. He's our Bobcat operator. He'll be taking care of this mobile home today. So excited to watch this thing come down. Cause uh, have you been inside, Bob? No. Oh, it smells like cat piss. You sure you don't want to stick your head in there just um, for, for very, giggles? Very It'll sure. motivate you. Very sure. Very sure. <laughs> It'll motivate you to knock it down. So um, here we go. Here's what it looks like on the outside, friends. Oh boy. I wouldn't touch it. The rest of it. I got you. Oh boy. So very soon. Very soon. This thing will be a pile of rubble. All right, see you in a bit. So, essentially I'm standing in the bio at this point. The reason I'm standing in the bio is because there was too much stuff in the closet to move out and I did not want to contaminate anything that did not have any bio on it. So what I did was I put boots on, my little booties, and I stood in the center and I cut around. As you see, I actually turned and stepped over the carpet and onto the contaminated padding. 
what you won't see in the what you won't see in the video is me actually removing the boots and continuing on with my work. All I'm trying to do is get uh, get this wet enough so I'm not pulling up a bunch of dust particles that comes up all in one spot. Not all in one spot, all in one take. I'm also going to start scrubbing it as soon as I get this off. It's amazing with what just one week will do. There we go. Wax on, wax off. Wax on, wax off. My fucking hand is starting to hurt. If you stand downwind from the destruction of this mobile home, you can still smell the cat piss. That shit never goes away, does it? Alright, back to more demoing. Whew. Guys, we are done. This house is gone. It looks like it was never there to begin with. So good job, Bob the Bobcat guy. It is moving very fast. Yeah. It's doing well. Flop out. All right, we are here still on a Sunday, about four hours into what we've done uh, when we walked into the unattended death. If you follow me, we're all done. I'm getting ready to set my ozone machine. Um, that's gonna take care of and eliminate any odors that are left. So as you can see here, we are in the office. Down on the bottom, we had a little bit of a, we had a little bit of blood down there. It's all clear up now. Clear up, it's all cleared up now. We removed the tile following along the grout line, so they should be able to put tile back in here. Good thing is, is she has a few extra boxes of the same tile they had installed in the garage. Follow along with me here. This was all gone. All of this. We were not able to salvage any of this tile. So what ended up happening was the blood had actually gone down into the grout line. The tile is amazing though, because though it entered through the grout line, it actually did not hit the slab of the house. So the foundation of the house is fine. If you look inside the closet, we actually just sealed right along here. 
that's only as an extra precaution. Right here, we have the nails where the tack stripping is, excuse me, where the tack stripping was. We sealed that really good. We wanted to make sure that though we extracted all of the body fluid out of there, we wanted to make sure that there was still nothing left. If there was a very minute amount, we have it covered. Did the same thing on this side here. Luckily, in the before video, you actually saw blood and biohazardous fluid on the baseboard. Nothing wicked up into this baseboard here. We were able to wipe this clean as well as the other side. We do try to save as much material as we absolutely can. Sometimes it's just not possible. Both closet doors, this side here, the one closet door, both on this side here, unfortunately had to go. If it was just solely on the front, we would have been able to wipe it clean because they were sealed really good. Problem is, to where he had passed, it had wicked up into the closet doors. Um, that's, uh, that's essentially it. There is an odor. Um, it's not respirator needed at the moment just because we have all of the biohazardous fluids and tissue matter and things like that gone. So it does smell a lot better in here, but I do want to set the machine just as an extra precaution. Uh, we took all of the plants, all of the living plants out of here because with the ozone machine adding an extra molecule to the air, it's going to suffocate everything, including your plants and animals. So a lot of people have house plants. I am one of them. I don't want any plants dead on my watch. So, all right. Hope you guys enjoyed. Like, subscribe, share. Comment. Y'all keep watching the YouTube series, guys. We love you. Bye-bye.